hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's girl marie and this is vlogmas episode six so today is our very last day well second last day at the resort and we'll go back to nairobi tomorrow and i thought it would be nice to bring you guys along in our day babe yeah you want to say hi hello <laughs> We are going for photography for a photography session. Our friend Oli is a photographer and he offered to do it for us. So uh, I'll see you guys then. See you in a few. Bye bye. Bye bye. There's Oli, our photographer. Hey Oli. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you're in it, yeah. We're done with the photo shoot um, for the day at least. We will go back, we will come back when the sun is a little bit mm, not so bright. It's around 12 p.m. right now, so it's quite bright. So we'll come back when it's not too bright and take the sunset photos at the beach. Right now we are still at the resort. You can see this was our photo venue and another one over there was our photo venue but yeah this was really exciting um i can't wait for the beach shots so i can wear my very nice bikinis <laughs> hey silly gorgeous but anyway yeah our photographer was really patient i really like i like my photos taken a certain way and he kept doing the right thing he kept doing the thing until he got the right thing so that was really nice of him only i'll link his instagram or facebook page below in case you like the shots and you might want to get some although he's not kenyan he's german so i don't know how that would apply but still i'll link his socials if any of you is interested and that reminds me if you haven't um, followed me on instagram or tiktok or facebook i'm gonna link my socials as well and you can do that well so guys let me tell you about my yesterday's mis misfortune Jana, I decided to go take a walk in the morning at the beach. It was about 8 a.m. And so you go with Bay and just walk in, have fun along the beach, and then boom, I got stung by uh, what do we call this? Sea urchins. If you saw my previous video, I, I showed you what sea urchins are. They're these um, spiky black things. Actually, I was stung by the black one, the black sea urchin. It's 
spiky and it's oh my god it was so painful and so this taught me a lesson there was a moral lesson here so when we were walking along the beach if you have ever come to walk along the beach in Mombasa and you're a tourist uh, there are these beach boys who keep trying to talk to you trying to sell you stuff and like we've been here for a week so I got actually I got tired of it I got tired of having to keep telling people no I don't want this no I don't you can do that literally the whole day and they wouldn't know because it's not the same people that keep coming to you so uh, this one particular guy approached me and tried to sell coconut water to me and I don't really take coconut water I don't like it and so I told him no and he kept pushing and I was irritated by it so I just told him no stop stop following us but then he kept following from a distance so when I got stung by the sea urchin he was there he was like from a distance he could see me in pain I got stung thrice like I got three spikes in my foot I'm with Bear, he's never, you know, experienced this thing, so he didn't know what to do. He just carried me on his back. And then the guy who I was avoiding the whole time, who was telling to stop following us, ended up being the one who helped me. He helped me get the sea urchin from my foot. It was so damn painful, guys. I screamed my head off. I screamed my head off, but it was. Um, it was worth the pain was worth it because I was told that if I let it sit for like a minute um, It would it would have been more painful than you know what he did there and The thing that I liked about is about it is that he helped me without actually asking for money He was just like sit down. Let me help you and then there was this Maasai guy who was also selling Maasai stuff like these and this and he saw us struggling and he came and he gave me such moral support. He didn't know what to do, but he was there supporting me, talking to me in Masai, which I don't understand, but trying not, he was trying to comfort me, telling me to be strong. And that is the most love I've ever felt from a stranger without asking for anything in return. Like, it was so human. I was moved. I was in pain, but I was moved. I kept thinking, there are people who are really human. I mean, I don't know if it's just in coast or because you don't really experience these things in Nairobi. In Nairobi, you can be someone can be stealing from you, and and no one gives a damn. No one is even looking your direction. Okay, but these guys, I didn't know them. I was avoiding them. I actually tell, told this particular guy to stop following me, and he still offered to help. And he was so compassionate. I felt so moved. Yeah, so. Um, that was an incident worth mentioning and I wasn't the only person who got <laughs> misfortunes uh, we went when we went for the um, snorkeling uh, Bill also had an incident where he got stung by a, what do you call this um, yeah he got stung by a jellyfish and it was so painful after you get out of the water it kind of just kept stinging and itchy and sting but also the staff at the resort were able to help him so that was a really nice thing but so far I feel like that is those are the only misfortunes we've had in a whole week's stay and it was worth it oh also there's this question that I keep getting asked on at, in the comment section sorry and guys I will tell you how we met and where we met and how long we've been seeing each other just Stay tuned, okay? I'm trying to get my boyfriend to come on camera with me. He is a shy person when it comes to cameras and he's still mustering the courage. But I feel like it's something that I need to address with him as well. So, you know, to bring more authenticity to it. It's not like I would not be genuine with you guys, but it will be just way better if he was on camera with me. So I'm still trying to persuade him. Help me persuade him in the comment section below and maybe then he'll soften up and then he'll like accept to do the video with me but the video is in the kitchen it's cooking and i will let you guys in on the secret so stay tuned keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting keep showing me the love and the support i appreciate it and i love you guys so hi chick girl shalom <laughs> you're not helping Hey guys, so we're back home and I told you guys we were gonna have beach photo shoot but that's not possible because I feel 
and well so we had to cancel that we back home all chained up so I can rest a little I thought I should end this vlog here but maybe not I'll actually vlog all the way through tomorrow like I said today is our last day in Diani we go back to Nairobi fly back to Nairobi tomorrow our flight our flight is at 12 30 is it 12 30 baby when is our flight 11 10 a.m. 11 it's at yeah. 11 12 20. Mm. so we have to leave the resort by 9 a.m. last of this vlog will be in Nairobi probably at the airport I'll see you tomorrow morning guys um, this is the last day of our stay in Diani we are leaving in exactly two hours to the airport and like I told you guys um, I would update you on our journey okay so we're done parking our stuff are all right there and someone is getting antsy because we need to go for breakfast okay. Let's go. We are going. But I had to give you guys an update and we will be leaving Diani back for our home in a few hours. See you guys then. Are you mad? No.
enjoying them? It's nice. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because we are really tired and we need to get some food and I don't want it to be too much of a long vlog <sighs> yeah we're waiting for our friend to check in so we can go and have lunch because we're all hungry but anyway thanks for sticking through to the end of the vlog and thanks for um, subscribing sharing commenting I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.